everyone, and welcome to another episode of Dog Craft. My name is Stacy, and I am joined, as always, by the Minecraft versions of my real life pets, Molly, Milk Toast, and Pipsqueak. Whew, okay, I got through that. Uh, anyway, hi everyone, welcome to today's episode. I have a new skin on. I really like my, my new boots. Anyway, uh, wait, where is Molly? Molly? I hear you. Oh, hi, you're stuck in a chest. Why are you there? There you go. Hi, Molly. You're so happy because we have such an exciting announcement today, Milk Toast. Let's go downstairs to the ARF gallery so I can make my announcement. It has to do with the artist who drew me with the wolves up there, Edelum. And the announcement is that I have a new dogcraft inspired book series called Rescue Tales. The first book is called The Treacherous Tower and it is illustrated by Melody, which backwards is Edel. So do you want to see some of the illustrations that Melody did in the book? This one is of Paige and Molly. I think that she really captured their personalities. And here is Basil, and this one is a bit of a spoiler for some of the action that's in the book. This book takes place in the jungle biome, and look at this gorgeous ocelot drawing. Oh, I just, I, I could not be happier about this news. Uh, okay, so the reason I am not showing any artwork today, uh, other than uh, Melody's amazing artwork, is because in today's episode, I actually want to start construction on maybe one of the biggest builds I've ever done in Dogcraft. Uh, oh, by the way, how much clay, clay do I have? Four rotten flesh. Okay. Okay, well, that's gonna be a problem, but hopefully we have. I think I have clay somewhere else, hopefully. Uh, hi guys! Um, alright, let's go ahead and- Ooh! Crickets. Get out of here. You guys aren't supposed to be in here. This isn't like a secret- This isn't- This isn't lore or anything. I just have- I just haven't been here in a while, so there's crickets. Uh, okay! <laughs> let's go ahead and choose- Why is that wolf turquoise? What? This wolf has not always been turquoise, right? Am I, am I misremembering? This is very strange. Okay, let's see which wolf is going to come with us on our adventure today. It is, <gasps> it's meant to be! But, and you're right here too! Hopefully everyone else isn't upset with me that I chose Basil for the first book in my new series. When you read the book, it will become very uh, apparent why I chose Basil for the first book. But anyway, let's go. Oh, I need to eat. There's no way that wolf has always looked like that. There's no way. You can't convince me. You know what? I should uh, update everyone on my other dogs in my life. Is it night? How did this happen? Uh, didn't I put a little secret bed? Uh, hello, Francesca. Is that your name? It's been so long. Please tell me that that's your name. <gasps> Oh, some things just never leave your brain. I don't know how I just pulled Francesca's name. I, it's been years, Francesca. It's been years. Uh, okay, I need a bed really quick. Okay, do not. There we go, okay. You know what, I'll just sleep in one of the wolves' beds. That's what I'll do. Okay, let's hop to it. What I want to do is I want to update you guys. I want to update you on Molly and Milk Toast and Pipsqueak, but I will start by, that's not the way to the Mini Mesa. This is the way to the Mini Mesa. Hello, everyone. Uh, I will start with a little Chica update. Chica? Chica? Are you, Basil, did you find Chica? Oh, hi, Chica! Uh, Chica's doing fine. Here's a picture of her waving to you, looking suspiciously like a pint-sized page. Ooh, what do I have in here? <gasps> some clay! Oh, thank goodness I have some. And then I guess we should go say hi to my dad's dog, Polly. Ah, 
It's so good to be home. Uh, you know, I, okay, there's a lot of cats here, and I've actually, I don't know what to do with you guys, uh, but I think I've, I've always not known what to do with this space right here. It feels so central to my world. You know, I built this splash pad so long ago. Oh, it's, it's, um, how do I get in and out? Where's the gate? Isn't there a gate? Okay, well, listen, we need to step on this pressure plate. There we go. There we go. Is there really not a gate? Anyway, this is such a central part of my home, but I think you guys, I think I want to actually build something in the Quonset that will remind me of my grandparents' farm. I think I want to take an area, see there's no dogs like in this front area, and I want to put a bunch of haystacks because that's where sort of all the cats would be at my grandparents' farm, like the wild cats, and that's what I want for you guys because, you know, you look a little feral lasagna uh okay let's go see polly polly is doing amazing she's actually 14 years old if you can believe it or not Bo! oh and a piece of clay that i just put down i got so excited to see you Bo, and to remember your name oh we haven't rescued a dog we need to do that today let's um let's go say hi to polly really quick first see wait a minute this is the same block maybe my colors are just wrong uh polly Hi, Polly. Good as ever. Yep, energetic as ever, even for 14. No signs of slowing down for Polly. She did have to have uh, one of her toes removed. Good job. Good job. So that's kind of, and Molly had, uh, Molly also had a little surgery, but I will, um, maybe I'll dive into that in a future episode. But anyway, let's go and rescue our dog for the day. Uh... Let's see here. Let's rescue you, maybe. Hi there. <gasps> I didn't mean to do that. Wait, what? Why did you just... Okay. What? Why did you... Have I already rescued you? Do you already have a name? I'm not sure. But <laughs> someone, someone is going to be named... Crosby because last year I did a live stream to raise money for the Nature Conservancy to help them restore mangrove forests all over the world and one of the top donators during that stream was Crosby so I wanted to name a dog Crosby to say thank you for helping the mangroves okay do you want to be Crosby are you already tame what is happening have I named what is okay Oh wow, tightrope walker over here. Okay, is there is there a dog over here? No. Oh, hi! Hey! Are you are you Crosby? Hello? Can I give you a biscuit? Uh no. Oh! Oh! I don't think I could name you. Is this gonna happen again? Are you gonna go? What? What is happening? Okay, listen, your name is Crosby and I'm just gonna name tag you. I don't know what's happening, okay? But there you go. Welcome Crosby. Oh, and I have another dog. Wow, this is a story. Let me tell you, this dog is going to be named Delma. <laughs> and I will tell you why in just a second. Wait, can I not lead you now? Because you don't have a collar on? Can I put a lead on you? What if I dye the collar? Do I have some dye? I need a flower. Okay, pink dye. I think this is probably going to have the same exact effect. Wait a minute. You look an awful lot like Crosby. No, you have a little black patch on your back. Okay, Crosby, do you have a black patch on your... Crosby, how did how did you do that? The point of Dogcraft is to not go back into the shelter. Oh my gosh! Okay, well I can at least now lead you out of the shelter. <laughs> this made me forget. We totally we have to find mystery and do the DNA test. I haven't done that still. Well, let me take the collar off of you. Maybe it'll be fine when I relog. Uh, anyway, you don't have a black patch on your your back, so you're different from Alyssa over there. Okay, this is this is a chaotic way to start the episode, but let me tell you the story about Delma while we go to the church because I know that that's where Delma's going to be. This was over a year ago. I was in Santa Fe and I was at a church and I rescued a dog. Now, you might be thinking, what? You've waited this long into the episode to say that you have a new dog? Unfortunately, 
I don't have a new dog. I will explain. This dog came up to me in a church. It was incredibly skinny and it was very clear. How do I get to my church? It was very clear that she didn't have a home. This is not, is there, do you go to the roof of the library? And it's raining. Just great. I don't remember. Pages picks. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, hi, Tim Willow. Oh, oh, you know what? We've got to change that picture over there, don't we? I haven't been in here in so long. Okay, let's see. Is there an upstairs to the cafe? Am I misremembering? Uh, wasn't there, wasn't there like a secret door? or something that's a pull out a book or some secret passage <gasps> whoa i just found it and that is a drawing by melody from back in the day oh look i can see through the secret passage right now i can't believe i just found it okay uh this is the way that i, I think hello yes okay i'm on the roof and then ah the church anyway the dog was incredibly malnourished now listen let me tell you i lured this dog because i just so happened to have a jar of cinnamon peanut butter on me i know it's iconic i lured this dog into the back seat of my rental car i did have to uh pay a pretty big fine from the rental car actually but that's okay i was thinking i'm just gonna drive this dog all the way home but this was a bloodhound and a bloodhound is a very energetic dog. I love how it's raining right now because I'm talking about how sad I am that I couldn't keep a dog that I rescued. It just felt so meant to be that this dog found me, but I knew that she needed medical attention and I also knew that she would not be a good fit for my two cats, Milk Toast and Pipsqueak. Or Molly. Molly is 13 years old. She really is just enjoying her time. She likes her sleepy little life. And this dog was so full of energy and has a naturally high prey instinct towards animals like cats. <laughs> you need food, look how skinny. I mean, it, you can't even really tell. You're so skinny. And your neck, look at that. What happened to you, baby? What happened? Hi. Oh, are you good? Oh. Do you hunt cats? I want to keep, I want to keep you. Luckily, I was able to take this dog to the Santa Fe Animal Shelter and Humane Society just as it was closing. I love you. Thank you. Want a piece of bread? Come here. Be good, okay? It is an incredible facility. It is a no-kill shelter with over a hundred acres for the dogs. She got medical treatment and she was adopted. So it's a happy story. I wish Delma was part of my family. I honestly do, but it wasn't meant to be this time, but I still rescued a dog. So, hi, hello. Uh, okay, I'm gonna give you a biscuit. Yes, wait a minute, why did this work now? Delma, <gasps> wait a minute, does this mean I can put a collar on you and it's gonna work just fine? No, it does not. Well, I'll still name tag you, I guess, too. And I guess you'll live here at the church, but we'll open the door for you too, so you can come and go. What is going on with the name tags? <gasps> Look how picturesque Dogcraft looks from this angle. Uh, this is a pretty high vantage point. Wait a minute, have I even said? I said that I was building an art museum, right? Did I say that? This rain. Basil, is there a bed around here? Ah, at the hotel. Is it a thunderstorm? We could sleep. Wait a minute, there's a staircase here? Is there? Is there a way to the church? No. Okay, no, the staircase just ends here. That makes me feel better. Uh, which room should we choose? Wait, there's not a bed in here. Uh, okay, the nautical room. You can only sleep at night, so it's, it's not a thunderstorm. I think it's almost night anyway, though. Let me just try sleeping again. I'll go into the hippie suite. Yay! All right, the rain is clear. I'm gonna fly. I'm gonna fly with Zephyr. So I wanna build a giant art museum to showcase all of the art. Now we have paintings, you know, kind of strewn about the world. I have paintings in my house, but I am saying I wanna have an epic, hi Ninja, 
an epic art museum. Hi, Zeph. I need your help to figure out where to put this art museum, okay? Because it's gonna be one of my more ambitious builds. Uh, ooh, okay, uh, W and Z to fly up and down. It's been a while since I've done this. Yeah. Okay, uh, great. So, it's gonna be a big build. It, I mean, it might be the size of this football field. So, originally I was thinking of doing it somewhere over here. We have the Raccoon Recycling Center and the Drive-In Theater. Obviously, I could do it somewhere like here. But this is a lot of trees to have to clear here. I'm wondering if that's not actually what I want. The road system kind of means that it would go kind of perfectly right here. Obviously, I'm not gonna cut down this giant tree, but I wanna show you guys something. There's this spot over here that I don't- OH NO! You know what, this is a good, this is good actually, because it will show me if the area that I'm thinking of building is just too far away from the rest of my town by foot. Obviously when you're flying on an ender dragon, everything kind of looks close by. But so this was kind of gonna be the original place down this lane here. But I don't know if it's nice enough. I kind of want the art museum to be like a little bit farther removed. Oh, this is handy. I need all of this stuff. All of it. Okay, I'm gonna move all this stuff if we decide to build here. Zephyr? <laughs> where's where's my ender dragon? Uh oh, Zephyr! Oh my gosh! This tree is so perfect for you! I'm actually gonna kind of keep you there for a bit, I think, because I'm gonna see how far it takes to walk over here. This is kind of, I'd have to build a whole pathway over here, but see how many trees we would have to clear otherwise? And there is already a clearing right here, which has some torches. I vaguely remember setting off for a rescue expedition from, whoa, from here once, but with the size of the build that I want to do. See, you can see uh, my world over there. There's, It's not that far away. You've got water. You've got like a really nice view. I don't know. There's something about this area that just feels like it could be perfect for, for a huge building and I don't have to clear land for it. So I kind of I kind of think it's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get all of my building supplies over here and basil and I will catch up with you when we are in the design phase. Okay, it's time for the design phase. Uh, this is it, <laughs> so far. Uh, by the way, this has got to be the biggest build yet that I have done. Are you kidding me? No! No, I'm showing off. What is that? Is that a, is that a fireball in the air? What? Okay, please stop raining. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I want to show off my museum. I'll be right back. Okay. Go away, rain. Thank you. All right, so uh, this is what I have so far. This is, this is big. This is really big, especially since we might make an upstairs. Uh, I mean, who knows? Maybe we'll make a third level too. So I used birch. I think it kind of has like a sophisticated art gallery feel and also I just needed a lot of it. So the idea is that there are different sections so I made like a white, uh, like a pure white clay. And so like, this is a room, this could be, um, I mean, this could be like the melody wing of the art museum. It could have all of, uh, all of the art that Melody has done over the years. And then I can use these kind of partitions. I can build more of these to have like different sections. Uh, here's a room that I just thought was kind of a, a nice little, vibe uh and then there's this chicken he he had a jockey he had a baby zombie on him uh his name is muse his name was muse and the baby zombie was um and it was like museum 
And then the baby zombie suffocated in a wall. So uh, that was sad. Um, but anyway, uh, <laughs> I don't I don't know. I'm thinking that this is going to be a two story tall room. Uh, just to kind of have this view, I think I'm going to have this wall not be art. This wall will be, uh, <laughs> hi Basil, uh, this, this wall will be windows, but then there will be lots of room for artwork on either side of here, maybe like a glass dome. Uh, I look at that fireball. Uh, and then here's a staircase. Oh, crickets. By the way, this room, this room is like cricket color combination and I totally didn't even mean to do it. Anyway, so then upstairs, uh, we could have a second level. The second level could go over that room and that room. It, it could go this whole, everything except for this room could be a second level and that could be like modern art or sculpture. I think it's gonna be really, really cool. Uh, I kind of want to figure out, I'm gonna regret this. Am I underneath this fire? Where is this fireball? I'm, I'm going to regret this. This just doesn't make any sense. It's suspended in air. And and what would it have been? Like a ghast? Was it ghast in my world? Oh, I mean, this is a cool view. Uh, oh, Dogcraft is far away. Okay. Uh, this is terrifying. It's right there. What? What? I... Basil? Basil! You crazy dog. Oh! Oh no, I just, I just sent a fireball hurtling towards dog <laughs> Why? No, Basil, no. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to go see if that is going to cause a forest fire. Uh, all right. I will see you guys later. Uh, thank you so much for watching this episode of Dogcraft. But until next time, Paige and Molly love you. Go rescue a dog. Basil, do we jump? Let's jump. Yeah, I did it! Basil, we did it! <laughs>